So I'm here with a motherboard of BN44-00287A. This is from a Samsung television, a 52-inch LCD. The television came into my possession a friend who said the TV just wasn't working. So I said, okay, I'll take a look at it. Uh, basically what we were seeing was when you turn on the TV, we would hear a clicking from this relay over here, and nothing would turn on on the TV, just a light that was on it. Did some research online. Turns out that its capacitors might be the issue. Um, I've started repairing this and then decided to record it. So I've taken out two capacitors already. Um, I've got my supplies here for the rest of the capacitors that I'm going to be changing. Um, you'll find the details in the description of this video for what supplies are required. But basically we're just going to be replacing these capacitors uh, with some better capacitors. Ones that are a little bit stronger. Uh, seems from anecdotal evidence from what I've seen online and on some forums that it's the actual capacitors that are the issue with this. Basically, in terms of supplies, what we have here, I have my rosin paste, my flux, which I'm going to be using to help warm up and uh, remove the old capacitors, and then also to put on the new ones, some solder, desoldering braid, which is important to help pull up the old solder and clean up the, the joint, and then my, my, uh, my soldering gun. I already replaced a couple of these, or replaced one capacitor, and remove the other one. So here we can see one capacitor has been replaced. We see still the the legs of it extruding through the board, which I'll clip at the end. And then we also have the spot right here for another capacitor that I ended up removing and cleaning up. Haven't gone ahead and put it through yet, but uh, I'll put that on. So I've gone ahead. I've gone ahead and flipped the board over again, and we're looking at the top side of the board. What's important, once you pull the old capacitor off, is putting the new capacitor on in the, in the right direction. So as you can see, the capacitor has a longer leg and a shorter leg. But there's also this stripe here, a white stripe, which is on it. And we want to match this with the right side, in this case, uh, on the board. So you want to make sure when you're putting these on, you put them in the right direction. So you can just push it all the way through. You end up seeing the capacitor coming on on the other end. I like to bend the legs out a little bit just so I can have the capacitor there and have it holding. And then from here, we'll just move forward with doing the soldering. So in this next step, as you can see, we've gone ahead and put a little bit of our flux on the board um, after running the legs of the capacitor through. I like putting the flux on, um, just it helps the heat transfer work a little bit better when soldering uh, the capacitor to the board. You know, I'm not a soldering expert. I understand some of the principles behind it. I've done a little bit of soldering, but uh, I do know flux does help. It helps uh, remove components and also helps when we're adding components. So make sure you go ahead and you put your flux on. It helps transfer that heat and it also helps clean up the board uh, when you pull off an old component. So one of the issues here is that when we are going forward and putting on the new components is that we wanna make sure we have a good connection. We don't have any micro fractures uh, within the solder that'll end up causing some issues. So this isn't a soldering video. Um, this is mostly a, this is a video for repairing this board or replacing the capacitors on it. So I'll move forward with continuing to replace capacitors and then we'll power it up hopefully at the end of this video. If not, we'll do it on the next video. But I will go through and show what the capacitors are that we are going to be replacing. The ones that I'm going to be focusing on are this capacitor, this capacitor, this one, one up here, there's a bunch of capacitors over on the left hand side here. So those are the ones that I'll be focusing on and then we'll see uh, at the end how this video ends up going and if this board actually ends up working again.